Why do I still play this game? <laughs> it's like War Thunder. I hate it. I get so mad. But in War Thunder, I have the excuse of I spend money on it. The only time I spent money on this game was to buy it. <gasps> what is wrong with me? Hello, 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 Toots all here coming in, ducking under that search bar to bring you the worst game in the planet Earth. We're on this sea, but I can't stop playing it. Because I hate to admit it, it does bring a unique aspect to the Naval Pacific that is in a game that does work. It works. Battle Station Pacific is just pre-made games, and even then, they're all predictable. And it doesn't work anymore on most computers. It works on mine, though. I guess, I mean, we got ruled the wave, but... I'm, 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 I'm waiting for Ruler 3 on that one. But, like, kind of comparing Picasso to a six-year-old crown. And the Pacific Storm, which just flat out doesn't fucking work, and I still play 300 hours of that, so... I don't know. Anywho. <sighs> I think I'll see if I can catch the transport on its way out from Horn Island. Maybe kill some more uh, cargo ships or something. At least we didn't lose a ship. I'm, like, I'm actually quite amazed Brooklyn didn't die. I'm really amazed at that. And why am I sending these guys up here? Well, what was the reason for me sending Enterprise? Oh, and I have no reason to keep them in danger. But I think no, it was to get Hornet. <laughs> there's, a, there's a second one. You know what? I'll give Hornet her own escort. have any of these but one left what is this unfortunate well maybe I can just hit a cargo ship with two bombs and that might do it well that works Wish my fleet was down here. All these ships are so easy to kill. I'm gonna have a kitty. I'll come around and see if I can have him just skip bomb the uh, transport number eight. I want to do a lot of damage in this run, but I don't want to do enough to sink it, is the thing. I was like, I could easily fly past and strafe this thing. This thing's so huge.
Oh, oh, they have two of them. Cool. Well, I'm gonna fly past that one. go for sinking of this one how many damage uh, we could probably we could take another uh, this guy couldn't the other guy could oh, I saw a secondary explosion for the front and we're gonna keep shooting so this guy runs out of ammo well the one that had the ammo gets shot down I hate this game immensely though I'm amazed the 25 millimeter could hit that the 25 millimeter couldn't even would, would struggle to hit that any an aircraft gun on this at this point unless it's a powered mount spoiler alert the only people that had a powered mount in the pacific which i believe was the royal navy i think and that, that was the pom-pom other than that no one had a powered mount that was of a light caliber anti-air or small caliber but it's a video game, so I digress. Yeah, this guy should be sent back home packing. This guy should sink. I could leave right now, probably, and get the damaged. Let's do. Let, let's do that actually. Heavy critical. Okay, so I could have just left this go. I could have let this guy sunk, but I wasn't gonna take the chance, especially since I lost another Kitty Hawk. Well, it's not just War Hawk, but. Again, I digress. Do we have... We don't have any engineers in field, so we aren't going to be replacing anybody. So I think what is every so day twenty eight more days we should get more points. I did my math wrong. It was twenty one. Three times seven, twenty one. I was doing seven plus seven, fourteen, fourteen plus fourteen. I was doing it times four. Alright, uh Hornet. What does the sleep? Not that one. Enterprise is asleep. <laughs> Actually, I think the only thing we can afford is Hornet with maybe one destroyer. Because carriers are so fucking expensive. I don't know why they made the care why the care got made so much more expensive. <laughs> At least for the player, it makes no fucking sense, but eh. Okay, get a clean let's get a That would give me everything. It would just give Hornet one heavy cruiser for escort. 
You don't have to work in surface combat because you ain't gonna get hurt by aircraft. We will do that. Depends, but if I'm gonna give Hornet any escort, which one was it? Was it the Northampton? Yeah, Northampton. I'm gonna give her Northampton. No one in their right fucking mind would do this to having but a single aircraft carrier be protected by a single heavy cruiser. But I never claim to be in a right state of mind. And yeah, well, she thinks she ain't gonna have any ASW protection. Well, I mean, I'll be fine. I'm you're pretty much safe from ASW until they launch their first torpedoes. Just no way to really counter it. And she will meet the Enterprise at that exact location. Just because we don't, and because we don't have any anti-air, I'm gonna keep a cap of twenty up, actually, just in case. And let's just let this game run, max speed. Well, I like, the, I do like the pulsating of the. Uh, Scouts. Quite mesmerizing. Kind of annoyed that my saved game didn't survive the reset, but. Oh well. Ooh, fun. Alright, we're going to have Enterprise. Stationed, oh, probably in here. Gives her the cover of the thing without being too close to. Well, it's intent again to go around this way for when we inevitably invade. Uh, I can come around and invade Santa Cruz first and Guadalcanal. Hmm. It just means we're gonna have to deal with this. Ah, BD got hurt. Yeah, I see what the AI does. Okay. I'm inclined to believe them if that's not changing. That's a carrier. Enterprise just got spotted. Okay. Well, here's what's going to happen. Enterprise, what is your cap right now? 12. I'm going to throw an extra 8 up for the cap defense. Please tell me I told those not to carry any bombs. Okay, good. I have one in reserve for the hell of it. No bombs. Wildcats are going to come down south. 
Yeah, that's a strike. That's a that's an incoming strike for Enterprise. Okay, okay. Well, things are getting very interesting. We got ourselves an actual carrier battle. I I mean an actual carrier battle. Okay, we're gonna have the Dauntlesses. I don't know what this carrier is. If it's a, if it's an armored carrier, I want the. Okay, we're gonna take the sap. We'll still put the flight deck out of commission. All right, you know what we'll do? We'll take the Avengers and have the 1600 armor piercing bomb. That will cover if it's an armored carrier. And these will follow the Wildcats, the new Wildcats. And because there's only eight of them, it'll be a lot quicker for me to get off the SPDs, and the SPDs will then follow the Wildcats. And instead of taking a direct route, which could cause them to get intercepted by the incoming strike, and then it's just going to be an annoying mess. I'm going to have them take a little bit of an angle this way because I'm going to maintain con contact constantly over this carrier. And just in case, we're going to change course north-ish. Northwest-ish. In fact, they're not coming with any fighter cover. But that is a torpedo strike going for Enterprise. Okay. Where is Hornet? She's over there. Okay. Probably gonna have the SPDs take a more direct route. TBF and Wildcats have about the same. One, uh, three, five, one. I think, okay, so the Wildcats will retreat first. That's fine by me, because if the Wildcats are going, that means we're, we're running low on fuel. And the time it is, six in the morning. We're gonna have plenty of time to conduct a carrier battle. This is the strike. They're going to strike me first. Those are land-based bombers. If they pull in the fleet, we got a problem. Okay, it did pull in the fleet. This could be good or bad. It, well, this could be good because of how this game stupidly handles air combat with naval combat. And how it just is stupid with air combat. This fleet is now invincible for the next hour is fucking stupid but whatever yes yeah, it's to keep you from getting constantly hit 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 and same thing with the ai keep constantly you from hitting 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 it because that makes total fucking sense in a strategic motherfucker if i know where a fleet is i'm gonna keep hitting it every fucking second I, they don't get an hour fucking rest how do you think you whittle down the fucking crew anywho this could mean one of two things one if that strike is being escorted by those fighters we saw change course. They're not going to have a cap heading back to the carrier. Now my flanes are ahead of it. The problem is they are going to come back and probably run straight into that fucking flight. And that is the last thing I want to have happen. I just got Hornet down here. And there's no way for me to rearm those carriers except for to go back up the fucking midway. Right side, um, I don't know. The fleet might escape, given how close to the edge. All right. There's their naval strike. That's not going to come anywhere near me because the AI is going to be forced to retreat. Here's these stupid land-based bombers. How they got here faster, I don't know. All right. I need, we need to do it like this. Again, two for every aircraft. 
is ruining my flow. That's also really stupid because uh, they initiated an attack against my SPDs as level fucking bombers, which should not happen, but again, you know, don't know how to do air combat. Beat that dead horse constantly. I will. Oh, you can bet your ass I will. These two just, just in case by some stupid reason, these planes don't disengage. Get to stay by the fucking fleet. But because these guys are so far out, they will disengage. Means they fucking better, so help me God. Don't fuck this up. Everyone just start shooting because uh, that's how you start pulling lead. I never understood why they can't pull lead on a turn or coming in for a deflection. My mind always gets boggled. Why would you continue your turn and not swing back? Yeah, again, I, 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 I really, I'm gonna keep beating this horse dead unless, because maybe the developers will listen. Fix your air combat. You need to fix it. This does not work. Me guys should retreat. This last guy should also retreat. Mm. Now your air co air combat in this game just does not work. Like it, it, it is the worst thing in this. Okay, yeah, the fighters are coming back. Well, at least I got some escort. Oh yeah, ignore. Ignore. Retreat. Because this is the torpedo strike craft. Alright. I swear to fucking god, if you intercept, so help me, I am going to be uber pissed. That is way too close for those fighters. Way too fucking close. This is as far, as, far as I can zoom in. All right, fighters are close. Dive bombers and torpedo bombers should be well, never fucking mind. How close am I? Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> Army piercing bombs, not fucking needed. Well, actually I know exactly where my armor piercing bombs are going. I could not ask for a better attack angle. Game's still gonna cock it up somehow for me. It always does. What time? Uh, 24? Well, this one's going to be quite simple. Most, if not everyone, going for that carrier. Yeah, every, every ship, every formation they have sent here, 
Would have been slaughtered by my cruiser division if bullshit didn't happen. I'm thinking four should do it. One. Two. Three, four. That should result in somebody getting sunk. And as for the Wildcats, well, that's a destroyer. That is a destroyer. Strafe it. It was the funny one, too. Hi, it's Enterprise. I have the luck of the e big evil change make make this at least go somewhat bearable. They're already doing invasive maneuvers. Yep, they are. I think. Alright, manual control. Use manual control. Use manual control. Mine drop two, Commander Kluski. Mine drop two. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Drop spitballs on the Japs? Just keep your hands off that damn electric arming switch. See if I can get this one a little bit behind. Try and compensate for that turn. Okay, TBS bombs are away. Six, seven, eight. Box formation form up. And start climbing. I don't know how the fuck they hit that, but whatever. Two. Three. Oh, the Wildcats had their little strafe. And it seemed pretty effective. Four, five, six. Sad. Oh. Well, that ship's done. Hey, Wildcats. It's like having fun with this cargo ship. Yeah, you would. Hopefully we're putting out those torpedoes out of existence. Damn, well, guess I've actually taken a pretty good pounding. We 
guys are moving at max speed. I'll applaud them for that. That's a pretty cool scene, I'm not gonna lie. That is a pretty cool looking scene right there. I wonder if they turn off the HUD. F11, F10, there's F10. That's a pretty cool scene, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, well, there goes one. Well, say what you will, this is a pretty, this is at the end of a pretty good looking game. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's a good looking game. It's not the reason I come back for it. I just don't think. Yes. Yeah. Number three suffered a magazine detonation. So these things do have a magazine. It's just really hard to see. Ah, uh, here we go. The main prize. Miss. Oh, no, we got one. Lost an SPD. Miss. Miss. Two. Three. Four. Got one more coming in? No. No more diving on this guy. Alright, let's see if we can send the Wildcats in one last time. You. You will be a fun one. So we'll send them in one last time because we can. Yes. All right. I'll take the sinking transports in the end of the fucking week. It's the beginning of the day, and I know exactly where you are, and I know your path probably to take home. You will not survive. If you don't get scuttled, I will be impressed. This guy's going to be probably our heavy damaged ship, if not this guy or this guy for sure. Um, it might, the fire might spread. She has no aircraft on board, so there is that which probably might save her. If you, yeah, no, if you survive, I'll be actually genuinely impressed. I sunk some of the main targets anyways. They only got one ship left, and even then, she's a little bit of an iffy if she's even going to make it. I already lost one wildcat. Make that two. Oh, hi. He's coming after the Avengers. All right, let's see. Okay, everyone just start shooting. I don't know who he's going for, so all you just start shooting. Well, it worked. We got one. We heard him once. More fighters. Shit. Fly towards the edge of the map. I might make it. Just. Bob and Weeb, boys. Bob and Weeb. That guy's the real problem there, guys. Yep. Come on. 
Come on. Come on, you sons of bitches. That guy's closing in fast. Set to turn. That guy's coming in. Here's the map now. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm kind of focusing right now. I mean, the Avengers, they're not really that useful compared to an SPD. That being said, I don't want to just lose them for fucking nothing. That way, slow her down. That guy coming in. And then they're both coming in. Okay. Shit. I'm gonna start gonna shoot from that far out. <laughs> we caused him to leave the area. Whoo! That's unfortunate. Lost one at the end there, but. It works. Wrong button. Sunk heavy. Sunk, sunk heavy. None, none heavy. None heavy. Only five points. I, I wish it was more. 
That, however, could have been a hell of a lot worse. That you went uh, better than I fucking expected. Lost four TBFs, lost two fighters, and not a single SPD shot down. And the nice thing about SPDs, they double as fighters. However, with Horner on the way, that shouldn't be any fucking problem, and it's 40 minutes of this fucking game. This is Too Tall saying thank you for joining me on this Let's Play of War on the Sea. Stay safe, and as always, have an awesome, awesome day.